Yeah, people, Chrissy Salem talking about shaping today to win. Oh, we've never met before. I'm Chrissy Salem, and we're going to do some shaping today. Mm. Now, don't that sound like fun? Oh, you know it. So, you and I agree on three things. I know crazy, right? Right off the bat, we agree on something. And that is that we both want more money, more resources. We don't want to worry about money. Check. That's one. Two. We want excellent health and we want to look good to boot. <clears throat> Check. That's two. And three, we want romance our way. So, are you a gentleman looking for a lady? Are you a lady looking for a gentleman? A king for a queen? A queen for a king? Or a prince for a king? Or a prince is experimenting with another princess? Mm. Or one on each arm? We all want it. Romance done our way. All right, Jessica is on. Jessica, thanks for helping. <clears throat> oh, and Starshine is on, and Inkspot is on, Mike F, and Kevin, and Pinky. Oh, we're rocking it. Because you do want to shape the day. You just don't want to go in today drifting through it because it gets wasted. You don't feel any better. Your bank account's no happier. Your waistline's no happier. Your sex life, oh, man. All right, so we want romance done our way. So we agree on those three things. Now, here's the... If you and I agree on those three things, now we can move forward. If you disagree, then you're not going to understand anything else I'm going to say. So you might need to go find that dancing chicken. <clears throat> oh, we've never met before. I'm Chrissy Salem, and I'm up against a dancing chicken. He's good, too. He can really move it. So talking about shaping today to win. Shaping today to win. Because it doesn't matter how old you are. You can be a little kid or you can be an old person. Anybody in between. All of us have dreams. Maybe you're too young, you haven't discovered them yet. Or maybe you're in young adulthood, you haven't discovered them. Oh man, you could be at any age and still not have discovered them. Or maybe you've had dreams and life happened to you, so you had to set them aside. And time's gone by and ooh, it's been a long time. I was thinking about that earlier, like the single mom. She didn't plan on having a kid. Ah, oh, man, but she loves him to death. But where's the money coming from? She's going to look at me and say, Chrissy, I got no time to dream. You got enough time to scratch a tattoo on your hand with a pen. Do you know what I'm getting at? It touches all of us. All of us have a dream. So whether you disagree or agree with me or not, we both got a dream. So in those three things I'm talking about, your money, your health, and you, all point to that dream. So this is what we're going to do. Because you got to learn something. I'm just not here to, you know, we all need a change of scenery sometimes. Check. And we all could use a change of company. Some new friends. <clears throat> oh, we've never met before. I'm Chrissy Salem. I'm your new friend. I hope. I hope I don't scare you off. One of the comments said, you scare me. Now, you know what's scary is being broke because you want to be, not doing nothing about it. Scary is being overweight and not doing nothing about it. Or not being a good partner if you have a partner, not doing nothing about it. That's cringe, man. That's scary. And we've all got people like that in our lives. And sometimes you don't catch it right away. So you all know what I'm talking about. All right, Jessica is on. <clears throat> and Pinky's on. And Kevin, Mike F. Talking about setting up ourselves today. We're setting ourselves up to win today. So stay with me. So if you and I are at your place, now if we're a couple dudes, let's keep it cool, right, man? Crack open a beer, whatever it is you want to do. We're just talking. Now if this is a little bit of a romantic kind of interest, well, I'll scooch in. Mm, let's get that love seat going. We got to warm up our little love seat. Black leather. Now I'm wearing fishnets, and I'm going to stick to it. All right, Miss Amazon. Talking about the three things we agree on, that we both want more money, we want... Excellent health. We want to look amazing and we want romance done our way. So let's move on. So if I'm sitting next to you and I say, hey, listen, I got to ask you a question. What's bugging you about your money? And maybe the night before you couldn't go to sleep. You were stressed out. Payday's still a day away. For some of us, it's already today, right? For some of us, it's Monday. Sweating it a little bit gonna be little Caesars again it's stressing you out it's causing you trouble 
It's causing you not to dream. See what I mean? So let's write that down. That's the first. Whatever it is that's bugging you, keep it short and simple. And let's write it down. I don't have enough for the month. For example, right? Now when we talk about your health, 70, no, I know you always hear this, but 70% of you are overweight or obese. Mm, and that's a fixable problem because it jacks with your self-confidence. You can all, you can act all this and that, but it jacks with your self-confidence. It's just the way we are. Argue with the biology of it. Mm, not with me. So accepting that fact, we can move forward. I know you've tried every program, right? I don't believe you. You haven't found the one that fits your lifestyle. You know, you're, and as you lose weight, lifestyle changes. Your program's going to change. Exercise's going to change. What, your eating's going to change? But they say it's a journey. Oh, it really is. But you got to treat it like one. You know, I've got some lady friends, and they've got protein shakes on the counter. Three different kinds. Top-of-the-line stuff. And a cheap one from Walmart. And they've got vitamins. Fat burners. Mm. And then I open the cupboard and there's four different kinds of Cheetos. Not going to work. Don't jack with the journey. Be serious about it. Or maybe you have some other health issue. Maybe you're laid up in bed. Quite a few of you are laid up. Just got no energy. You're out. You've been diagnosed with something. You're at some stage of something. Damn, it would just feel good to sit up at the edge of your bed. Let your feet touch the floor. Oh, man, that would just be awesome. See, so when you talk about excellent health, it's something different for all of us. Oh, but the number one thing causing trouble is being overweight. Mm. And number three, romance. This is where if you got little kids around me, get them out of here. All right, Starshine is on. Mm. And Jessica's on. And we're talking about shaping today to win. So if you got kids around, have them leave. We're going to talk about some hot romance. Mm, oh, we've never met before. I'm Chrissy Salem, and we're going to get romantic. So we've all got a list. In our, a mental list or a written down list, and some of my friends have two and a half pages. Oh, of what's going to come in through that door, what they're going to manifest. The partner that's going to show up. Well, you know, each of us is absolutely right to have a list. I've got mine. But let's take that list for a minute and just set it down. Oh, it's a good list. There's another list. Do you know this one? Oh, a lot of you don't know it. Because you put a lot of priority on that partner one. But there is a reason you haven't attracted that yet. There is a reason it's just not coming into focus. Yeah, you kind of touch the edges of it, kind of taste like it, kind of looks like it. You meet some people. It's just not it. Why is that? Why is it taking so long? I mean, you wrote it down, you thought hard about it, you always got your eyes open. And you really can manifest, manifest things. Oh yeah, all the beautiful hearts coming up. Oh, Miss M is on, Jessica's on. Oh, and you know what happens when there's a lot of hearts coming up? Mm, we're gonna take the escalator. We're gonna take the escalator up to the metal mascara heavens. And we're gonna each put on our parachute, provided to you by Chrissy Salem. We each got our parachute. Oh, and we're gonna jump. Yeah, you and I free fall, we're gonna jump. Oh, we can see all the hearts coming up. Isn't that cool, man? Let them bounce against you. Mm. You're like, damn, I'm floating down to earth with Chrissy Salem. I'm feeling good. Give me some more sugar, baby. Mm. Coming right up. I'm Chrissy Salem, if we've never met before, and I'm gonna pull it out. I want you to pull it out, too. Uh, pull out that list about you. Things about you that suck. There's things about me that suck. But there's things about you that suck too. Oh, wait a minute. Ouch. Ouch, Chrissy, you're drunk. There's not very much about me that sucks. I saw a homeless guy. I gave him a dollar. And I told everybody about it. Well, boom, that's all the credit you get. What a good guy. It goes deeper than that. Everybody's so quick to say, I bring such and such to the table. All right, why are you single? Where's that partner? Why hasn't it happened? The flat answer is, I'm working on myself. Well, I talked to you three months later, you're the same person. Six months later, same person. You ain't working on squat. But it sounds good when you talk about it, and it feels good to talk about it. We gotta be real. 
So what is it about you that sucks? Are you not sure what that is? You're not clear. I know, I'm clear about me. For starters, us as dudes, dudes are stubborn. Biology. Women are lazy. And here's the problem. Both genders suffer from both maladies. I'm stubborn and lazy. I always got to deal with it. Because maybe you're sitting down talking to me and I don't need to be stubborn. I need to be listening. Being open. All right, moving on. So what is it about you? If you don't know what it is, the best place to get it, this could take. But this is, oh, this, this, this pays you back. Because right now, you're not happy. Things are, life kind of sucks. It's kind of great. It don't feel good. You didn't sign up for that. But we're going to, we're fixing it. Damn, baby, we're fixing it. Mm. Your last employee review. No, but you know, most people don't like their job. Okay, I love my job comes to comment. Uh, shut up, all right? If you love your job, be quiet. Because most people, most regular people, really don't like their job. And a lot of them don't like their boss. But we're going to set that aside. Because it does give us, it does give us bank. So we respect it for that. And we give it our all for that. All right. So you want to go up to that supervisor and say, look, my last employee review, I've thought about it over and over. I'm not happy with my performance. Can we go over it again? I want you, I, I just want to take notes. Because you know why? It's what's in that review because he's not the only person that's jotted stuff down about you. Oh, if I ask all of you right now, are you guys team players? Oh, Chrissy, I'm a team player. Oh, but I go to your employee review, not a team player. See, it's a very objective list, which is what you need to really, really work on yourself. To get what you want, romance-wise. If you're being that specific and that particular. Because we don't settle. You're a metal masketeer. You don't settle. Settling means you gave up. Maybe you're with somebody today. But you settled. And you look over at them. Mm. Just looking at them annoys you. Why is that? Because you settled. You gave up. You said, you know what? I'm not that important. This is good enough. Who hasn't experienced that at least once? Or maybe you're going through it now. That's a tough spot to be in. Because there's memories, there's, there's money, there's a place of living, there's comfort. You just deal with it until something better comes along. Nothing better is coming along. We gotta work on that list about us, that things that suck. So we can become more socially attractive, right? Oh, and more economically attractive. It's all connected. Who you are at work is who you are at home. All you gotta do is change the clothes and put the piercings back in. <clears throat> at least that's how I do it. Oh, you thought I'd just sit here and you think I'd just sit in the basement beaming out talking to everybody? Oh, you're nuts. I'm out in the marketplace, man. I'm moving every day. And then I come here and I do it again. <clears throat> because so many of you, either you don't know what your dreams are or you've set them aside. Oh, and I'm the guy that's reminding you, time to get back to him. Gotta wipe the dust off, wipe the cobwebs off if you've let them sit. Okay, I get it, life's happened to you, it's happened to everybody. Let's be sympathetic, empathetic, and agree that we need to pick up our dreams. If we don't know them, we need to find a way to discover them. Make sure you follow me, stay with me, because I'll help you discover them. Oh, <clears throat> Does that sound like fun? All right, so we've got some goals now for our money, for our health, and for us as people. We want to fix this romance problem. Now we're going to make a vision board. If you've made a vision board, leave a comment. Make sure I see it, please. These things fly by so fast. All right, Jessica's in the house. Oh, and 365, and show me God. And Pinky, and Ink Spot, Starshine. And Maya, Cast Iron Mama. And we're rocking out. We're having the coolest rock and roll party anywhere this morning. Because it's me and you and your life. We're going to make a vision board. That's right. I'm sitting next to you. Let me t let's do this. If money's not an issue for you and other people's drama's not an issue, and if you could set the video game aside, listen up. I took all those things away. Mm, tell me about the kind of car you're driving. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Cool color. Great rims. Mm. 
Oh, a two-seater, very sporty. Oh, where are you living? Where do you want to live? Oh, man, that's a big house. I can't. I can't. If I got to stop and count those windows, people will go find something else to watch. That's a lot of windows. And that's a lot of bedrooms. Man. Or is it a penthouse, an apartment, a loft? Is it uptown? Is it downtown? Is it outside the country? A lot of bros doing the passport thing. And is that you? Damn, you look good. What are you, 21 again? You look happy, healthy. Damn. What have you been doing? You've been exercising. Oh, and who's that next to you? Not bad. Pretty good looking partner. Mm. Wait a minute, there's two. Oh, there's a fox in the hen house. Everybody watch your chickens. He's got two. She's got two. Mm. Now, what about experiences? We don't want no vacations. You know, vacations, you drive and you feel like garbage and you, you don't eat good food and you smile in the pictures and the videos. And you get back, you said you had a great time. Experiences. You want to see a, a pyramid in Mexico. Want to, want to go to a powwow. I've been to one of those. I experienced one of those. Oh, what a blast. Or you want to see the pyramid in uh, Egypt. Wow. Wow, that's, that's a lot of history. And check this out. What about experiencing the pyramid at the South Pole where the alien versus predator stuff is going on? You can't tell me it's not there. I saw it in the movie. Mm. That'd be fun to experience from a real long distance. Woo. One of them alien things, man. Face huggers. All right. See, so we agree that we want experiences. So now, I want you to download eight to ten pictures on your phone that are fair representations that you can really dial this stuff in. All right? That's your homework. Because now we're going to go to the store. I'll drive. I'll drive. Mm. You like it when I drive? Yeah. I have an excellent driving record. Mm. Not too slow, not too fast. Excellent response time. Oh, we're gonna go to Walmart or Target because we need to get copies of these pictures. Yeah, from the Insta print machine, six cents a copy. This is a very inexpensive way to stay with me. You're gonna love this. Mm. So, then we're at the store together. People are looking. Oh shit, people are looking. Just say, look who Chrissy's with. Damn, he's so lucky. I know, I'm with you. Man, we're a couple of dudes, man. We're just walk, walking in. They're like, man, look at those rocker dudes. Mm. Now we go to the school supply aisle. School supply aisle, because we got to get an Elmer's tri-board. Little kids use it for science projects. It's got two folds in it. Get the medium size. $3.78. Oh, can you tell I've done this before? All right, Draco's on. Mm. Thank you for getting my attention. Oh, Draco's a good friend. That's what I mean. Get my attention. Draco just got my attention. I don't want to miss you if you're on here. Because you want to shape your day to win. It could just be a couple words I say and boom, it clicks for you. Mm, let's get to clicking. All right, so. We got our tri-board. Got glue at home, glitter, you know, whatever you want for your vision board. You can bling it out if you want. Look, I'm a dude. I keep it simple. Mm. So, let's get back to your place. Ooh, I'm still driving. Now, we need to spread out. Now, what is wrong with spreading out? We're a couple human beings. We've been up and about for a long time. We want to relax and spread out. Because mm. we got to spread our pictures out on our tri-board and glue them down. No monkey business. This is serious. We'll have some monkey business later. Mm. Okay, so all of us look, looks at life in a different way, you know? So the way you look at it is the way you want to glue your pictures down. Whatever that is for you. All right, Ghost, Ghost Rider's on. Oh, yeah, Ghost Rider got my attention. Ghost Rider, you rock. I haven't read your comment. I hope it's nothing vicious. Oh, I had a couple of meanies yesterday. Oh, man, they were stinkers. Stinkers. You know, keyboard ninjas, mm. they come in and they disappear. All right, cool. Anyway, so check this out. 
We're going to put together our vision board. That life that you shared with me, we got pictures of it now. Now let's put it up. Let's look at it for just a second. Dab, it's beautiful. No one has one like that. Just you. Now what are you willing to trade for that? An extra hour of sleep? Calling in sick when you're not? Overplaying a video game for time? Watching too much TV? Jacking around doing nothing with loser friends? You're going to trade that for all these things I just mentioned. We're all guilty. You could be doing it right now. I decided I'm not going to trade that. And, if, and you can too. Now this vision board needs a title. It needs a name. So you know, we're going to... Are you familiar with the Sanford 5000 extra wide black felt tip marker? Oh, you got to use two hands to write with it. It's so thick. Oh, it's called My Life. Write down My Life. There it is. Mm. My Life. How does that sound? That sound great. My Life. You mean, Chrissy, it's not the weather? It's not what the latest sports team is doing? It's not what's going on with the Kardashians? No, it's none of that crap. It's your life. The number one priority. So let's say that together. My life is the number one priority. Come on. My life is the number one priority. My life is the number one priority. Now act like it. <clears throat> and now we get busy. And don't go anywhere because I'm going to talk about work now. Everybody's afraid to get a little work in their hands. <clears throat> Shout out to the people with the good working hands. Stay with me. All right, Jessica's on. Jessica, thank you for helping for watching the audio. Mm. All right. We're going to get to work for a season. Season means 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. But these goals that we wrote down, they're going to take a certain amount of time. We're not doing 10-year goals. We're keeping these things 90 days or less. You got to start winning right away. You don't get a taste of winning. It's awful hard to stay motivated. So we got to get a win today. And you've already got your first one because number one, you're watching me. Number two, you've written down your three simple goals. And if you don't remember what they are, it's one for your money, one for your health, one for you. We made a vision board. We're going to get to work. So maybe you're short. So a good example, simple example, we can all understand. You're short 500 bucks for the month of March. You can work two more weekends and get that money but it's gonna suck. Will you do it? Remember your life, your vision board. That little step has got something to do with that. So you, you bite your lip and you do it. Cause say this with me, one life, I'm gonna live it up. It's an outlet. It's from the Judas Priest song, you got another thing coming. It's an outlook. It's how we look at things. One life, I'm gonna live it up. Say it with me, one life, I'm gonna live it up. One life, I'm going to live it up. So what does that mean? You're stuck in traffic? So what? One life, I'm going to live it up. Crank up the music. Or if you're learning something, turn it up. Oh, they stuck you with the, oh, that lazy bum co-worker again. Oh, man. I can't wait till break. Until then, one life, I'm going to live it up. It's an outlook. It's how you see things. Because I hate to tell you this, but I gotta tell you the truth that world problems and the weather and the lottery, that stuff doesn't go away. They're all things out of your control, out of my control. There's three things you can control. That's your money, your bank account, your waistline, and what you're working on about you, like being punctual, not being shy, all those things about us that we can work on. So all those little steps we take lead to that life. Mm. Oh, we've never met before. I'm Chrissy Salem, and I'm taking you back to your dreams. I'm the real dream catcher. Because I caught you in my dream catcher web. Because you were kind of thinking about this. Some stuff came up, got you thinking, and then boom, I show up. Oh, man, that's no coincidence. It is no coincidence. This is life talking to you. Get up and get busy. Oh, your bank account's like, come home, baby. Oh, your waistline is like, make me smaller, my love. Oh, and your love, like, your love life is like, give me some more. 
But the sad part is love life for most guys today is six to eight minutes on a free porn site. And there's love and romance. You didn't sign up for that. No one told you about your life. So that last thing we're going to do to, to complete the cycle, you're going you're gonna to love this. This is why it's good to stay to the end. Mm. Mm. Because all of us have platforms for our music that we listen to. Some of us have more than one. I have one. I have Spotify. I don't work for Spotify. Just always had it. So you make your own playlists. So we're going to make a new playlist called My Life. And the songs we put on it have to be, have to inspire you and have to motivate you. You don't know what the hell you're motivated about, but you just feel like you just got to take a, you got to take a step forward. Don't even know why. And inspired, oh, you don't know why you just want to, oh, you just want to get your hands on something, get busy. If the song doesn't fall into that category, it goes on a different playlist. Because it's a soundtrack for your life. And I'll tell you what, up until today, somebody else has written your soundtrack. What you listen to, what you watch, who's in your life. They can be causing you a lot of trouble, a lot of grief. It's choking your bank account, choking your health, choking your mental health. So this is important. Got to set the goals, those three. We get busy, we get working. Mm. And that starts to come into focus. Yeah, not in one day. Not in one day, of course not. But you're, if you're here with me right now and you've written your goals down, you're taking this you're taking this into consideration. You're considering your life. Oh, man, you've already won today. Great start for today. Keep it going. You're on a roll. Oh, if they ask you what you did Friday morning, you said, I spent some time with this Chrissy Salem. And, oh, man, he got me fired up. Mm. Hell yeah, people, Chrissy Salem, I'm lighting some fires. Because it doesn't matter how old you are. You can be a little kid. You haven't discovered your dreams yet. But all this other garbage is going to choke them out. Or maybe you're an older person. Man, and a lot of life has happened to you. Say, oh, don't talk to me about dreams. I get home from work, my back is killing me. Oh, my feet hurt, I got to put them up. I get it. But you still have a life you dream about. You're just not excited enough for it. Or maybe it's really not the life you dream about. You never really thought about it deep enough. But the clock is ticking. We got to get what we, there's got to be a sense of urgency. A lot of people say baby steps. Oh, screw the baby steps. If you fall down, fall down and get right back up and keep going. Life isn't rewarding the little baby steps. <clears throat> you need help getting back up? There it is. Because as soon as you make it here, I'll tell you this. Nobody tells us this either. As soon as you make an intention. I intend to make more money. I intend to save money. I intend to lose weight, build muscle. I intend to be a better partner. Whatever you intend to do, life listens. This is really, really, let's see. Oh, and it takes its left hand. It's a soft hand. And this hand is like soaked in, in like rose water and milk and honey. And oh, it's just, oh, it's a luxurious hand. Oh, and it takes you by the back of the head. It's give you a little rub. Mm, don't that feel good? Oh, you know it. But when you're not looking, it takes its right hand and balls up a fist and it pops you in the mouth. And down you go. And down I go. And then it steps back and looks at us. Are you going to get back up? I'll reward you if you get back up now. Life's not watching the people taking baby steps. Come on. But we're metal masketeers. That's right. We get back up. You might get punched in the mouth today. It still might happen to me. Day's not over yet. But no, it's coming. Don't be surprised. I mean, it can surprise you in the moment, but in general, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised you're going to screw up your diet today. Don't be surprised you're going to screw up your exercise plan. Are you going to overspend by 10 bucks? Don't be surprised. That's life testing you. You get back, uh huh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, people, Chrissy Sale, we've never met before. I gotcha. <clears throat> Make sure you follow and subscribe because this, the conversation that's on the table, I guarantee, is always your life. Now, do I do some other things to catch your attention? Oh, of course. But if you just came here to gawk, well, okay, here. Mm. Because maybe you needed to change a company. Check. Maybe you needed to change the scenery. Check this out. Oh, yeah. To turn your life around. 
and you dream again, and you get excited again, you get busy again. I'm telling you, man, don't let other, if you're busy doing your thing, you know, other people's drama doesn't go away, but it does take a step back. It only takes a step back when you're focused on what I'm talking about, which is working on your money, your health, and you. Drama takes a step back, never goes away. And, you know, you, we've all got these people in our lives that vomit their problems on us. All they do is complain. Oh, man, just crabs in a bucket. You can't, you can't feel good being happy around them. Because it gets, it bothers them. It's crazy. But it don't matter because we're metal masketeers. We get up and we fall down. We're going for what we want, which is the life that we dream about. So do we need to discover our dream? Make sure you follow me. We're going to discover it. You need to pick your dream back up. Oh, I'm the person to take you back to it. Oh, you want a real dream catcher. Mm, I, caught you in the, I caught you in my web. No coincidence. It's no coincidence it's you and I this morning. Mm. Because you've seen the guys with the short hair, yeah, with the button-up shirt and the, and the, and the 44-inch chest and all these things, smoking a cigar, telling you about this and telling you that. You're like, damn, I can't ever be like that. Oh, but along come I. And I tell you, you can be anybody you want to be. I'm living proof. Mm. But it takes work. It's your life. That's what you're working towards. Whatever that is for you. Oh, yeah, people, Christy Salem. Man, go to ChristySalem.com. I got my new ebook out. It's my philosophy. It's 50 pages or less. I mean, I'm no Marcus Aurelius, but I have a philosophy. And it works. Oh, it works like a charm. Oh, and I'm charmed to meet you. We've never met before. Mm. Maybe you're just scrolling and you just wound up falling on me. Mm. Hope you didn't squash me too much. Oh, we've never met before. I'm Chrissy Salem, and you could squash me if you want. <clears throat> okay, I have a Chrissy pancake. Oh, yeah, people, Chrissy Salem having a great time. ChrissySalem.com for my new ebook. And, and myself, like a bunch of other creators, we've all got some kind of T-shirt company we're with. Well, I'm with T-Public. Been with them since the beginning. Got some crazy cool new designs. I wear mine. I power up. Got to tell you about that. Oh, yeah. Talk to you again. Mm, I love you. Oh, yeah, people, Chrissy Salem, thanks for sticking around for the after show party. I don't announce it because all the nasty people, they leave, and it's just us friends on here. So, so far, it's been working. Don't tell the nasty people. But they'll be back because they're like, damn, I do got to fix my money. My money sucks. Oh, and that one guy's like, damn, yeah, Chrissy's right. I can't see my toes. It's my fault. Or the other dude, oh, I'll make to go to the clinic to get some medication because it's burns. All right, so we're on the right track. Just so some quick announcements. We've got a brand new playlist, uh, the book of heavy metal affirmations. Because man, you know, I affirm my days. I affirm all the time in my life. Let's just, if you're with me now, let's do one now. Uh, one life, I'm going to live it up. I use that one like nuts. One life, I'm going to live it up. One life, I'm going to live it up. It's an attitude, an outlook. It has got so much to do with us winning every day is our outlook. One life, I'm going to live it up. Oh, and if it helps, man, crank up that song. It's, you got another thing coming by Judas Priest. Oh, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. You just get going when you hear it. Right, you're on the top as long as the music's loud. Mm. You're standing tall. You're young and kind of proud. Let the, people, let the people keep sitting and watching the world go by. You got stuff to do. You got another thing coming. Oh, yeah. If you don't know that song, check it out. Judas Priest, You Got Another Thing Coming. Wow. See, a new playlist called The Book of Heavy Metal Affirmations. It's free. They're all shorts. Mm, get you going. And then number two of their playlist, too, is uh, Have You Met My Co-Star, Jesse Pump? Oh, yeah. She's, she's turning some heads. But she's been doing more and more uh, sequences with me, so keep an eye out for her. Give her, say hi to her, too, because she's like, nobody ever says hi to me, Chrissy. I'm like, oh, please. Everybody's always saying hi. And the last announcement, uh, 
I'm looking for some help, man. I need a personal assistant slash makeup person slash a helper. So, man, you know somebody in my area. I'm in Chicago. Man, hit me up. Message me on any of these platforms. Mm. So I got a lot going on. I need some help. Mm. Oh, yeah, everybody. I love you. I'll see you again. Oh, yeah. Jessica, thanks for being on. Okay, and then who else am I talking to? CK? Who else, am, who else is on here? In Chicago. Totally right. Okay, uh, okay. well, somebody's in Chicago. Okay, well, cool. Got to message you, man. Don't message me on YouTube because everybody can read it. Mm. But anyways, Jessica, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching the song for me. I didn't get, I didn't get a chance to post anything. Time went by so quick. Oh, it's snowing like crazy over here. I don't know if it's snowing where you're at, but it's snowing over here, which is really weird for March. Everybody's a buzz about the weather. I'm about the buzz about, let's, let's get our money right today. Let's, get, let's stick to our diet and our exercise. Mm, and let's work on us. Oh, yeah. I'll see you guys again, Jessica. Thanks so much for being here. And everybody else. Mm.